everyone! So today I'm going to be sharing with you my February favorites, my favorite products of the month of February. You guys know the drill by now. So my first favorite is actually from my Eco Emmy box and um, a little package thing that I did a video on. I will link that in the description box below. Even though I say that every single time that I'm going to link something in the description box below, I always forget. So hopefully I remember this time. And um, it is the little sample of the Cream Luxe um, truffle, white truffle face cream. And even though it's a sample, I absolutely love this, and I've been wearing this, um, and I just got that package not too long ago, so, um, I haven't been able to use it that much, but I have been using it quite a bit since I got it, and you can see the, see, you can see the little dent in there, and, um, what it is, I can describe it as, like, when I'm applying it, it feels like a body butter for the face. Like, you know, body butter is more thick than a lotion is. Um, this one is, it has a more like, a, it is called a truffle, so it has like a more like whipped kind of feel to it, but it, it's like really moisturizing and I love it because I do have dry skin, you guys know if you've watched my videos for a while, um, and a lot of face creams that I try, like they do not hydrate my skin. Um, very well. The only one that has really stayed moisturized, like I can feel the moisture in my skin, it was the Estee Lauder Time Zone. And unfortunately, it I think I like put too much on at a time and I broke out from it, so I was like disappointed. But now I just have to put on a little bit of it and it doesn't um, break me out, but I have to watch out for that. But this one does not break me out at all. And um, I love this, even though I just have a little baby one. Um, this is an awesome face cream if you have dry skin. I probably wouldn't recommend it if you have oily skin, but it's really, really moisturizing, and I can feel, like, I put it on right after I take my makeup off and I, like, um, do my little skincare routine. Um, I will put this on, and then in the morning, my face still feels moisturized, which is crazy because I've never had a moisturizer do that because, I don't know, I just have such dry skin. It just never really works, but I love this one. and totally recommend this if you have that problem as well. My next favorite is a Sigma brush, and this is a medium-angled shading brush, the E70. And to be quite honest, I used to hate, um, like, brushes like this, like angled brushes. And I, when I got this set, I was like, I'm probably never going to use that brush. But I've been reaching for it a lot lately. And especially, like, with this makeup look, which I've worn in pretty much every single video for, like, the past, like, 12 videos or something. I'm just kidding. But a lot of videos. And I need to do a tutorial on this because I'm getting asked so many times if I can do a tutorial on it. And I totally will. I love this. I, like, used it for this look. And it's just a really nice brush to blend out the color kind of like fading it a little bit and just give it a really nice soft edge so I really like this brush. My next favorite goes with this look just because I'm just talking about it now and that is the Rockin' Republic eyeshadow color in denim and I got this from Hot Look. If you guys are not familiar with Hot Look, Hot Look is a site where a lot of companies go on and then they um, have all of their makeup, a lot of their makeup anyway, discounted like crazy. And I tweet about it and let you guys know like the sales. Like I totally tweeted about, I totally tweeted, I tweeted about the Rock and Republic sale because like, I love this. And this is what it looks like. And I don't know if you guys can tell how big this eyeshadow is, but I'll put it up next to a MAC one. And you can see, like, look how much bigger that is. You're getting so much more product. And Hot Look, um, like, MAC eyeshadows are, like, $14.50 ish and this, like, they retail for about $22.50, I believe, somewhere around that, and, um, but at Hot Look, they're on sale for, like, $8, $9, so that is crazy, so I just picked up one when I first got this, like, a few weeks ago, because, um, I didn't know, like, how pigmented these eyeshadows were, if they're really that good of quality, so... I just got one, but then I've been so amazed with this, and you guys know I, I wear it every single day, pretty much. Um, since I got it, I ordered two more eyeshadows and two more lip glasses, I believe, or one eyeshadow and two lip glasses, I can't remember. But I just ordered that off of Hot Look the other day because Rock and Republic was having a sale, so if you are not a member of Hot Look, go join right now. I will link it in the description box below so you can go join because it is awesome. You get such big sales and, um, yeah, awesome discounts. Love it. So... Check this out. I know it's not on sale anymore because it just ended, but it'll tell you on the side. It'll have like a little calendar of when um, each company goes on sale. I know uh, Stila, no, I know Urban Decay goes on sale a lot on that site, and Mario Badescu, and Rock and Republic, and Juicy Couture. A lot of sites go on sale there, so it's an awesome, awesome concept. Love it. My next products, both of them, are from the MAC Wonder Woman collection, which is out, and 
to be quite honest, I didn't know if anything would really appeal to me because I saw a lot of, like, bold colors and stuff, and I'm kind of, like, I don't want to wear anything, like, too bold to school, like, especially lip colors. But I did find one that I really liked, and that is the Marquise de... I don't know. <laughs> Again, some French, I believe, words. You French ladies can tell me how to say this, but this is what the packaging looks like. And this is what... The actual color looks like I'm actually wearing it today under the um, NARS lip gloss. It kind of looks like cream cup, um, especially when they're next to each other on the camera. They look really similar, but this one has um, more like sparkles in it. Not really like glitter, but just a little bit more shimmer. And this is a luster. And it's just a really nice wearable color. I've been reaching for it a lot. I definitely recommend that if you're looking for a great lip color. And the next product from Wonder Woman, this is the last, this is like the only product I got from Wonder Woman besides that is the blush in Mighty Aphrodite. When I first looked at pictures, like, it didn't really attract me because I don't really like sparkly blushes. But for some reason, this looks amazing. And I, I'm so glad that I went with my instinct and got this because I checked it out um, at the counter and I was like, I just kept swatching it. And I was like, I don't know if I should get it because it just doesn't look that pigmented. But it's so, so pretty. I'm wearing it today. It looks so gorgeous. I love this color. Next product that I've been loving is this Benefit Eye Bright. And you guys know that I got that little travel one that has um, half Boeing and then half Eyebrite. Well, I was actually, um, I received this as a birthday present from Evelyn, who I love so much. You are so sweet, so thank you so much. She knew I love this because I mentioned this in my video that I really want to try the stick, so that's really nice of her. And I've been loving this ever since because obviously I love the Eyebrite when I had it in this thing. And I'm just going to keep it, um, the little one in the pan for traveling, and then this one I just wear on daily use and I put this like right in the inner corner under my eyebrows and a little bit right here so I can just kind of brighten my under eye area a little bit so really like that for a good eye brightener and then the next product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting brow kit and I've never had like an actual brow product before I've kind of just used eyeshadows for my um, brows but I also got this from Evelyn and what it comes with is this thing right here of three different shades. And for some reason, this is really weird, but I can wear all of them. Like, I thought this one wasn't going to show up, but it's a nice... Like, if I want to have just kind of more and more natural look that day, I'll just wear this one. This um, middle one right here is the one I've been wearing the most. And that, like, matches me perfectly. And then this one I'm actually wearing today. But if I use, like, a light hand and not use that much, then this looks pretty much just like that. Just a little bit darker. And I actually really like it. And, um, but if I want a more dramatic statement brow, I can build it up like that. Um, but yeah, so it's just a really nice brow powder, and I use just a flat, or not a flat, a little angled brush like this to uh, put it on. If you guys want, like, an eyebrow video, I can do it to show you guys how I do that. And then these little, these, <laughs> these, oh my gosh. Okay, this little, um, trio thing is for, like, highlighting under your brow area, and I'm wearing this one today. And these are just really pretty like metallic shades so yeah I really like this and I think you get this at like Sephora and oh it also comes with a mini brow gel as well so that just goes in here and I really like that there's a mirror so you can just do your brows on the go my next last product oh I have one more but this is pretty much my last product and this is the infinity line cinnamon bun scented candle and it looks like this. This is a 10 ounce. And I actually filmed a review video on this. And I either put it as my um, last video or it'll be my next video. And it smells so good. I'm not going to go into depth because I, um, I did a video on it. But it smells amazing. Like real cinnamon buns. It doesn't smell fake at all. And um, what I love about this, I will just say this quickly. I won't go too in depth. But... Um, it's made out of soy wax instead of paraffin wax. Love this candle. It smells so good. And I'm probably going to go put it on after this video is over. And my last favorite. This is my random favorite time now. So, I experienced a miracle the other day. My miracle was my best friend. I was with her one day. And she mentioned to me that, because um, I was like telling her I was been eating healthier. And she's like, you know... I only had one shortbread cookie today, and I was like, shortbread cookie? And she's like, yeah, the shortbread Girl Scout cookies. And I was like, no Girl Scout came to my door. Where did they go? So I text my mom right then and there, and I was like, mom, 
Um, I don't know if, like, they've already come or anything, but, um, could you get me, like, hook me up with some Girl Scout cookies? Because I really want some. She's like, funny you should mention this. This is a miracle. They're coming today at 4, and I texted her at, like, 3. Are you kidding? And I was like, yes! Got my Girl Scout cookies. I got two Axe of Thin Mints and two of the Tag Along. All of these contain chocolate. Like, they're chocolate. Why is that weird? Because I'm allergic to chocolate. But these don't really bother me. Like, um, the chocolate that really gets to me is, like, fudge. Chocolate chip cookies, if I have a lot. Those um, peanut butter cups, dark chocolate that I can only limit myself to a few a day. Those will get to me. They like, get a huge headache. Um, but for some reason, these don't really bother me. So I'm going to continue to eat them because, I mean, like, why not? But, um, yeah. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my February Favorites video. It's probably a long video of, like, rambling, and I'm really sorry. I try to limit my rambling, but it just kind of happens sometimes. It just happens. I hope your dances went well, all of you who had winter formals and stuff like that. And I hope that you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!